Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Hold Peak HP 846A. This is a digital anemometer, which is uh, a device that's capable of measuring wind velocity. It's quite interesting and reminds me of other LabQuest uh, tools that you may see around physics labs and engineering labs, and it sells on online for about 50 bucks. Now this is a tool, uh, and this company seems to specialize in these type of measurement tools, such as uh, they also have versions just like multimeters that you might find for measuring voltages, uh, for measuring amps. There's also versions for measuring uh, sensitivity as far as uh, decibels and the loudness in your surroundings. So there's a, a few different models that the company sells and they all involve uh, these sort of instruments that you can use to collect data with. Uh, as far as the packaging is concerned, this one is pretty unique basically because it comes with this uh, suitcase that, that it looks pretty professional, features instructions for the unit, and also protects the unit when you're not using it. Uh, and this is what the back of the suitcase looks like. Uh, and overall, again, at 50 bucks, it's not overly expensive as far as uh, these units go either. Taking a closer look at how it functions, we have uh, basically the, the tool that measures the wind flow. We have a very sensitive uh, module on the top here. So the fan here spins very freely. And whenever you're kind of moving around, it's gonna automatically start to spin as far as you know when air is flowing through, as you can see there. It uses a USB 2.0 port to connect to the main computer, which features the CPU and the processing. And has a fairly decent, I'd say, a half a meter long cable length, which can be stretched. And overall, it's made out of plastic and feels fairly durable as well. The back features some basic info, so you know that's matching up with the correct unit. And I believe this can also be plugged into a computer if you have the proper software that handles, uh, you know, what the digital tool does over here. So up top here, we have access to a monochrome LCD display that shows out the various uh, settings as well as takes you through the user interface. We'll show you that in a moment. Down below here, there's access to controls, which features a foreign navigation toggle for sampling uh, different uh, different access points, a power on off switch in the center here, turning the backlight on and off, changing the, changing the temperature setting. You can measure the temperature on this as well, changing different unit measurements, uh, recording the, the actual measurements, uh, and, go, and going through the different options, so and so forth. Uh, down below here, I have access to a lanyard strap to take it with you more easily when you are moving around. And the top here features a rubber flap covering up the USB port for inserting uh, the actual measurement uh, tool. And otherwise, the back just features some basic info about the unit. There's a rubber feet, which prevents it from sliding around on the surface or a desk. And it takes AA batteries down below, which you need a screwdriver to access. And there's also a tripod mount for attaching it in a more permanent place if you are recording data in a lab. Uh, overall, I think that this one could use a bit more of rubber accenting because it's made basically entirely out of plastic. So I do feel like it's not the most rugged thing in the world, despite looking uh, quite industrial. So if you do drop it, I feel like this may crack because it's 100% plastic uh, without any soft touch rubber components. So next we're going to take a closer look at the interface and we're going to try testing this out right now. All right, so turning on the digital nanometer, you can see that there is a backlight to this. So in your darker environments, you can still read what's going on in the screen in terms of the units as well as you know how fast um, and how high the wind speeds are and so on and so forth. It is pretty responsive and easy to navigate. Again, if we want to change, turn on the light, I just have the light key there and this is what the backlight looks like. It's a monochromatic screen. So uh, even outdoors, it does a decent job. There's also battery status on the bottom right hand corner and you need to swap out the batteries after about one year of using it so it's uh, decent as far as that is concerned I can change the units on here as well so um, changing that automatically kind of recalibrates things and it typically comes on with the CFM as the as the preset unit. I can also record this data under a certain amount of time and then of course uh, transfer this data through the USB port onto a computer so I can then analyze it with uh, other software. So it makes for a pretty fully featured uh, kind of lab quest experience. Um, other things I can change on here, temperature as well as uh, uh, changing the velocity flow, the sample area that I wanna use and uh, to do a quick demo of how this thing works, again, if you kind of just change it and flick it through the air um, with air flowing through, it is very, very sensitive. There's a little resistance on here. That's how it operates. You can see a change in that uh, airflow. So it is quite easy to use. Now to give a better sense of you know how it might work in real life, as well as to show you guys the extreme ends of uh, data uh, performance as well as recording, I have a fan over here. This is a digital fan by Brookstone and I can control the speed on here. So for instance, this is a very low speed and if I pop this uh, recorder tool onto the top here. You can see that um, as it gets faster, it's definitely gonna change the amount of uh, airflow and before it stabilizes a little bit and tells me that data. I can of course change this to be, change the motor so that it spins faster, gives me a higher output, and of course get even higher. So uh, 
this is a, a good I guess, demonstration of how fast this thing can go as well as uh, the sensitivity level on this. Um, as far as safety is concerned, I would say that uh, they're both, um, especially with the, the recorder here, is uh, decent, especially since there are plastic barriers on here, so it prevents you know, anyone from accident sitting, sticking a paper or the hand in there. Um, so the blades themselves are quite lightweight, so they're not going to really cut uh, or anything. So uh, decent as far as construction and fit and finish. So all in all, the Hold Peak HP you know, 846A, this is a digital nanometer. I'd say that this works pretty well. If you're looking for something like this, this is definitely a niche product, especially um, if you're a scientist collecting data, if you're in the classroom, if you're some type of uh, professor at a university, this might be something to look into, especially since uh, Hold Peak is offering this at a pretty low price point. I've compared to this with some other quick searches, and they seem to be priced at almost two times as much, but this one does work fairly well and comes with that nice protective carrying case as well. So thanks for watching this video first look and a uh, quick review here at OS Reviews. You can check out more details about this in our written review, but uh, this has been our video. Thanks for watching.